they're currently at $339.08 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $411.53 a share in the next 12 months. Hey guys, today we're going to go through the fundamental analysis on Humana Inc. Now, Humana is in the healthcare industry. Um, my stocks that I put on my watch list, I break down into three tiers. Three star, which is the most fundamentally sound. Two star, which is beneath debt. And one star, which is the least fundamentally sound but still fundamentally sounds enough to make the watch list. Humana is a two-star. They are about to give a dividend, but you have to own them by March 27th of 24 to be eligible for that dividend. And it will be 88 cents a share. They're currently at $339.08 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $411.53 a share in the next 12 months. We see that they've dropped significantly. They had one up week here, then they dropped a few more weeks. If we, and these are, this is a weekly chart. If we look at the daily chart we see that they started they dropped significantly started to move up but then across and back down again here we see a slight green candle we want to see what happens moving forward now we're going to jump into the fundamentals for this stock or this company. But before doing that, let's just go through a few things. I actually, this is a stock that I'm picking from this week's Stock Winners, which is a series that comes out on my YouTube channel, Uncle Dwayne's Watch List where I speak about fundamentally sound stocks at their annual low price that are starting to move up or show some promise every week. I also do this month's option pick where I pick an option and usually buy the option and you can watch its progress with me. But when I buy the option, I don't just buy it, I buy it. I make a video and I let you know about it either that day or the next day so that you have the option to get in on it as well. Uncle Dwayne's channel is my YouTube, Uncle Dwayne's watch list is my YouTube channel. And if you go to it, you will see a Patreon link. In that Patreon link, if you go inside of there, there is another series, and that series is this week's option picks. Now, in my Patreon, this week's option picks, which is an option pick about once a week, is not free. It's not expensive. It's just $25 a month for this week's option picks. But you'll get a lot of opportunities. It's not money that's that you're getting rid of for no reason. It's money that's going out to bring money back in. And just an example, one of our options from this week's option picks, which we are still holding now, or I am still holding, Air Products and Chemicals. It was purchased on February 9th of 24. Now this is... March 6th of 24. So it's not even a full month yet. And this option was purchased for $1,320.66. It's now valued at $2,885. So it's already up 
$564.34. That's a 118.45% gain in under a month. So with the this week's option picks, it's giving you the opportunity to catch options that may potentially move up like this. We've caught 40%, we've caught 20%, now we're at 100%. And this is a series that's just been going on for about two months now. Having said that, Let's jump into the analysis on this company. So, company name Humana Inc. in the healthcare industry. And the ticker symbol is HUM. Now, if we look at the previous five years from 2019 to 2023. In 2019, the low price of this stock was $225.31. The high price was $360.44. That was an increase over the year of 59.98%. In 2020, the low price, $208.63 a share. The high price, $442.10 a share. That's an increase of 111.91% over the year. In 2021, the low price, $367.49 a share. The high price, $463.08 a share. That's an increase of 26.01% over the year. In 2022, the low price, 358 dollars a share. The high price, $557.92 a share. That's an increase of 55.81% over the year. And in 2023, the low price, $422.71 a share. The high price, $532.90 a share. That's an increase of 26.07% over the course of the year. But we see that in 2024, the low price has already dropped back. I caught it as low as $333.40 a share. Right now it's at $339.08 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate that it can go up to $411.53 a share in the next 12 months. Although in 2023, it was already up to 532.90 and it dropped from 2022 as well. But still, that's a bit of room if it starts moving back up. In any event, now that we see how high this stock can potentially go. Let's take a look at where it can drop. And we can do that by the PEs. Right now, the PE, the low PE so far that I caught this year was 16.67, but right now it's at 16.95. But in 21, it was 16.21. 22, 16.22. Let's say it drops to 16.21 again. So we'll say 16.21 times the 
jack to the earnings per share, 20 equals, we could see it fall into 324.2. Now, not going to count COVID year. COVID lockdowns was an anomaly. But in 2019, it actually fell down to a PE of 11.21. Let's say it falls there again. Where's it going to go? 11.21 times... 20 millions per share, $224.20 a share. Although, I have to say, we've already seen it start to move up from that low PE, but let's see what happens. In any event, let's go down and take a look at this income statement. Now we're going to get into the fundamentals for the company. And we see in 2019, the company made $64,888,000,000. In 2019, that's a pretty decent sales and revenue pretty decent number. The problem comes with when we get to the net income. In other words, after they pay all of their expenses, how much do they have left over in profit? And when this company paid all expenses, they had two billion seven hundred and seven million left over in that income with a profit margin of 4.17%. That's a pretty low profit margin. I've seen companies at around five, but the problem is it's going to get lower over the five years. In 2020, COVID year, they had $77 billion one hundred and fifty five million in sales and revenue. Notice their sales and revenue is increasing every year. But in terms of net income, they had three billion three hundred and sixty seven million for a profit margin of four point three six percent. A rise but slightly. In twenty twenty one, they had eighty three billion 64 million in net in sales and revenue and then 2 billion 933 million in net income for a profit margin of 3.53% in 2022 92 billion 870 million and a net income of 2 billion 806 million for a profit margin of 3.02%, going down since 2020, it's dropping each year. And in 2023, sales and revenue increasing even more, 106 billion, 374 million. But yet their net income is two billion four hundred and eighty nine million for a profit margin of two point three four percent. So I would say their profit margins on their income statement really leave something to be desired. It's pretty poor. Let's look at their return on equity. And we see in 2019, the return on equity was 22.49%. 
that was good. 2020 was 24.53%. Would say it's good. 2021, 18.21%, which means why did it drop? 2022, 18.26%. And in 2023, it's dropping even more. 15.25%. So why is their return on equity dropping? Now let's take a look at their debt to equity and that'll give us a little idea about their balance sheet. In 2019, it was 141.54%. We know we want it under 200. I've seen lower, but it's decent. 2020, 154.73%. 2021, 175.46%. 2022, 180.12%. And 2023, 188.42%. And that should tell us something about the balance sheet. What we really want to see with this balance sheet is current assets exceeding current liabilities for all five years, which they are, and total assets exceeding total liabilities for all five years, which they are, not, not significantly, but they are. It's a decent balance sheet. Now, this company paid a dividend all five years. They paid $291 million in dividends in 2019, $323 million in dividends in 2020, $354 million in dividends in 2021, $392 million in dividends in 2022, and $431 million in dividends in 2023. We also like to see when a company buys back shares of their own stock, yay, and not sell more shares of their own stock, boo. Well, this company bought back more shares of their own stock for the last five years. They bought a billion, 12 million worth in 2019, a billion, 820 million worth in 2020, 79 million worth in 2021, 2 billion, 96 million worth in 2022, and 1 billion, 573 million worth in 2023. We're going to skip over current debt and long term because we looked at that in the balance sheet. But we'll look at cash flow and I'll tell you why in a second. This company had $4,548,000,000 in free cash flow in 2019. $4,000,000,000. 675 million in free cash flow in 2020. 946 million in free cash flow in 2021. 3 billion 467 million in free cash flow in 2022. And 3 billion 187 million in free cash flow in 2023. Cash flow is the money they have left over. At the end of the year, they can do things with it. And one of the things that's done with that free cash flow is pay out dividends 
to shareholders. Now, what you don't want is a company that's paying a dividend to shareholders, but they really can't afford to. They're just paying the shareholders to keep them around, but they can't afford to pay them the dividend. Well, this company can. After paying the dividends in 2019, they still had four billion two hundred and fifty-seven million. Twenty twenty, they still had four billion three hundred and fifty-two million. Twenty twenty-one, they still had five hundred and ninety-two million. Twenty twenty-two, they still had three billion seventy-five million, and twenty twenty-three, they still had two billion seven hundred and fifty-six million. Now, there's a video on my channel, The Truth About Book Value. So I don't put a high measure on book value. You can look at that video and see why. But in any event, this company's book value is $133.05. And their PB ratio is 2.55. They have, Humana has, 120.65 million outstanding shares of stock floating around the market. And 0.25% of those shares belong to insiders those who work at or involved in the company. And 94.03% of those outstanding shares are owned by institutions, large institutions, banks, etc. They, the last dividend they paid was 88 cents. And they actually have a dividend they will be distributing. You have to own them before March 27 to be eligible for that dividend. And the dividend should be given out on April 26. Their beta is 0 0.45, 0 0.45. And beta tells you how volatile the market is. The general market is at a beta of one. So if a stock has a beta of more than one, it's more volatile or moves more than the market. If it has a beta of less than one, it's less volatile or moves less than the market. Currently, Humana's beta is about half the market. So it should be moving less than the market right now. Now, Mr. Bruce Dale Brusert, born 1962, is the CEO and director. And Bruce joined Humana in 2011 and became the CEO in 2013. Meaning all five years that we analyzed this company, they had the same CEO. Humana is in the healthcare plans industry, healthcare sector. Kaiser Permanente is the largest with 12.81% in market share. United Health, a very fundamentally sound company, is the fourth with a 6.70% market share. And Humana is the 11th with a 1.38% market share. So that's our fundamental analysis on Humana, guys. You have a great night, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.